You know, it's been 75 years since Jackie Robinson became the first black player allowed to play modern Major League Baseball. And the History Channel has a new two-hour documentary which tells the untold story of the next generation of black baseball players who fought for racial equality in the sport after Robinson. Today, I have critically acclaimed producer and director Andre Gaines. Good morning, Andre. Good morning, James. How are you? I'm doing good. So what can we expect to see in After Jackie? Oh, you, you can expect to see so much. I mean, uh, folks can expect to see a side of Jackie Robinson uh, to, for starters that they really haven't seen. I mean, most of the story of Jackie Robinson kind of starts and stops when he integrates baseball. Uh, but there's so much more of what it is that he does, even in his own career afterwards. But it's uh, the, the highlight of our story really occurs after Jackie Robinson's retirement, where he becomes a prominent civil rights leader, and he is also a mentor and a guide for the next wave of ball players that come under him. And in our story, we focus on the St. Louis Cardinals team and Bill White, Bob Gibson, and Kurt Flood, and really how Jackie was there as a, as a supporter, as an advocate, as a mentor, as a guru in many regards for not only their careers on the field, but also what it is that they were doing to help fight against discrimination and inequality, especially during the 1960s. So there's a, it's really just packed with a, an amount of information and an entertaining amount of information. You know, we try to hide sort of the broccoli and the brownie, as they say, uh, when it comes to delivering these stories to folks, but be able to educate at the same time. And that's what we get to, get to see in After Jackie. Andrew, in this documentary, what stands out most to you? Well, I think there's really two things that, that stood out to me. I think, first of all, was the fact that there were black ball players before Jackie Robinson. Uh, this was in the late 1800s, 1884, Bud Fowler, Moses Fleetwood Walker. These were two prominent black ball players who were ultimately banned from uh, playing uh, uh, you know, universally across the league. And it was a gentleman's agreement. It wasn't something that was written down and it would really consume the sport for the next 60 years, an agreement amongst the owners that they weren't going to let black ball players on the field. And that would, would consume the sport for 60 years until Jackie Robinson showed up in 1947. I think a lot of people will be um, fascinated to discover the fact that there were these players, prominent players before Jackie Robinson, long before him. Uh, the other part too, I think, is we really wanted to highlight how important uh, baseball was to the black community. You know, this was the, the oldest sport in America, the great national pastime, uh, but it was, a, it was a huge part of uh, black life, especially the Negro Leagues. Every Sunday they would, you know, sort of build Sunday services around the games that were going to be played on Sunday, and it was a huge financial center in the black community. And, uh, and we don't really get a lot of focus or a lot of highlight uh, of that fact and we wanted to sort of uh, uh, you know bring that to the forefront and after Jackie and really sort of show what the Negroes Negro League meant to the black community and what it is that Jackie Robinson meant to the black community when he did break that color barrier. Speaking of today why do you think there's fewer black players in the National Baseball League now? Yeah you know it's a it's a really good point and it's something that we couldn't help but highlight in, in the film. I mean, what's interesting is we have, you know, about 8% of, of the game where we have black ball players, uh, which is equivalent to uh, the amount that existed when Jackie Robinson retired in 1957. We do focus on the uh, heyday and, uh, and highlight the, the sort of uh, crescendo of black ball players all through the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Uh, with Ken Griffey Jr. as an example, who is somebody who we talked to in the film. Uh, but it's just gotten expensive. You know, the Ken Griffey Jr., uh, we talked to Mookie Betts, we talked to CC Sabathia, we talked to Dave Roberts, we talked to Tony Regans, we talked to so many uh, modern ball players and, and modern uh, administrators in the game to really highlight and understand why we have this deficit of, of black ball players today. And, uh, and the barrier of entry has just gotten so much more expensive. And MLB is, is doing all that they can really to try to create that access again so that we can, we can get back to the type of baseball 
that gave birth to these great players and we can see a whole new generation of players as a result of it. Andre Gaines, we've been talking with him today about the new History Channel two-hour documentary on After Jackie and one of the other reasons why we are so glad to have him on the show because he has three Cardinals in there, Bill White, Kurt Flubb, and Bob Gibson. Oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Re representing Andre, St. Louis, for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Andre, thank you so much for joining us on Morning Blend. Thank you for having me.